So if you were to sell someone on why, why they should come to Sundance and, and experience a new film, what would be your pitch? Why are you doing this interview? film is awesome to watch with your eyeballs it's entertaining um, it's my favorite way to watch it actually with your eyeballs and your ears sometimes generally speaking yes with your pants on not so much every single year that i've been here there's been so many great experiences with the films and what about with drinking have you had good experiences with that too no. drinking is terrible i heard that sundance wasn't very great but it's fun but it is as freezing as it sounds at first actually it's not that cold right now it is definitely cold. again i'm from venice beach this is freaking freezing my pitch to come to sundance because it's awesome and you get to see movies like if you like skiing you get to ski during the day go in the hot tub and then go see a movie like late at night so you're a skier i'm a skier well, i'm a snowboarder so i don't think we can get along Psh it's a great little city. When I go back to LA, how many cool points do you think it gives me to tell people, hey man, I just came back from Sundance. And what is your favorite film at Sundance? I would say Happy Christmas. I laughed out loud, like I nonstop, I could not. Are you a big fan of Jesus? What? No, we just saw our first short. And what was it about? Um, racism bodybuilding, and veganism. Three of my favorite things. It all fits on one plate. What was the key element of, of Happy Christmas that made you happy about Christmas? <laughs> I can't do this right now. Do you think that, that films should have themes that encourage people to be activists? I think those are the best films. Laggies. Can we talk about laggies? <laughs> No. So what is Land Ho about exactly? Right. Two old dudes that are like getting their groove back in Iceland and they are going to have their, the time of their lives. So it's like Stella gets her groove back, but it's old old Joe and old Bob get their groove back. Yeah. Just a coming of age story, really. Um, it's a coming of age story about... Like I'm sorry, is your phone more important than I am? Keep hearing one about Mitt Romney and stuff like that. I don't remember who that is. Uh, some guy who ran for president. Uh, it doesn't ring a bell. Now, Camp X-Ray, that is about Guantanamo, correct? Do you feel safer in America after watching that film? No, and I don't think that's the point of the movie. It was because Kristen Stewart wasn't doing a good enough job at protecting us? No, she's great. No, I mean, she's really good at emoting one emotion. One emotion. She does that fantastically. I have to say my favorite film is uh, the, the one about uh, Robert De Niro's father. Do you think Robert De Niro Sr. taught Robert De Niro Jr. how to be a mother badass? Absolutely not. There was one, and I can't remember the name, it was something goes boom. Gregory. Yeah, I know the I know the filmmakers behind that. Yeah, and um, he ends up pouring gasoline on himself and. Spoiler alert! Yeah, right there for you. By the way, at the very end of the film, the, the Titanic sinks. Okay, just so you know. So you're from Albuquerque, where Walter White is from, right? Exactly, and I've been on Breaking Bad all five years. That's you kind of look like Walter White a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. You have a confession to make here, sir. Uh, what are you? What are you doing in your spare time? <laughs> he pleads the fifth, ladies and gentlemen. Is that a proper way to protest a particular idea? Setting yourself on fire? Yeah. Would Would you do that? Sure. Why not? Can we count on you doing that next Sundance? Next Sundance. All right. If If we've any, with the proper press. Yeah. Well, just be sure to call me before you do it, because I need more hits on YouTube. Of course, in the spirit of independent film, here we are sponsored by Stella Artois and Acura and Clean Coal and about 12 other corporations. Uh, how do you think that resonates with the independent film spirit? But the highlight for me is uh, actually you've been the uh, chase uh, party this evening. <laughs> <laughs> of course, nothing like independent film celebration with Chase Sapphire. Do you think we should power all of our films with clean coal? I think we should power all of our films with... Heart. All the way. Soul. All that. And some gonads. <laughs> Get her done. Uh, and there are people from all walks of life here, and it, it just, it's a fun place, and creative juices flowing, other juices probably flowing as well. Oh, good to know. So what are you doing tonight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> About to go, go liquor up. All right, well, uh, we'll see you guys later. Uh, no more filming, please. 